Warning, this video may contain graphic content such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Unfortunately, YouTube won't allow that, so we'll try what we can. Please be over 18 to view this video, and don't say we didn't warn you. Endlessly searching for an original So hey everyone, welcome back to Bad Manners. It's been a while since I've done this game. I want to thank Skaz for letting me know it's updated a bit. For games that I've been doing that are basically uh, continually being worked on, I try to wait a couple of updates, unless it's something I'm testing, like Breeding Farm and Paprika Trainer. Well, Skaz was nice enough to send me a message on Patreon, which you guys should all support him over there, that two more chapters had been added. Now, we did finish Chapter 7, so we're going to jump into Chapter 8. Now, once again, I want to thank him. I'll be working on other series, similar to Seiya no Uta, that are completely finished, but I do like working on these... Um, games that are still works in progress. So let's continue. I think we should finish chapter seven. Mm, I don't remember. Great, Anna will come around soon. Dress like a peasant girl. The door uh, knocks on the door. I'm gonna save right here. So we haven't done this since August. And with the new Frozen movie out, why not? Come in. Your lordship, a new girl's here. Her name's Ahn. I mean, Dagny. Hmm, her muzzle's not bad, though too peasant-looking and freckled. Gentlemen don't like such girls. My face looks like a peasant's, and it's freckled? What a scoundrel. It does excite me in a way, though. Oh. But the breast? Martha, how many times do I have to tell you that the first thing men look at is the breast? And the Imperial College girls must have Imperial forms. What a scoundrel! What? Well, your lordship, she means that the merchant, the scoundrel, sold tight underwear to her. That's why nothing can be seen. Oh, I see. I mean, if the girl lets me see what she has there. Who do you think you are? Martha, your protege is crazy. Who did you bring me? Is this a farce to you? Go to the stable now. You should be horsewhipped, both of you. I am a princess, Prince Hans. I am Princess Anna. Just dress like a peasant. What? I wondered who you look like. But I know Princess Anna. I don't know why I keep doing that. My dear girl, she's a lady of high morals and principles, whose fiancé I had the honor to be some time ago. She would never stoop to acting like that. The idea of it. A princess is dressed like a peasant? To sneak to a man's bedroom at night? Judging everyone by your own standards, my dear. Only, only whores act like that, not royals. And you, Martha, did you decide to disobey me? Well, I will, I will tell the servants to get you and this crazy woman dragged by the hair to the stables, naked as a warning for all who decide to slander monarchs. Oh my god, why are you standing like that? You silly Magda, he's leaving, do something! You didn't have to run your mouth, your lord, ladyship. If you pretended you, you're a peasant, then listen to what them guys tell you and put your pride away. You can! Just tell me, just yell at me, your lo ladyship. I keep saying lordship. Just yell. When you're whipped, you'll be yelling like hell, but no one will listen. Oh my god! He hasn't locked the door! I must run away to Elsa until he's back! But there's only one hallway here, your ladyship. You can't just run away. He won't get away with it! Will you... Will it help you? Good heavens, Magda! I'm a princess! Not a wrench! No, I'm not a wench like you! I can't be whipped like an animal! What can I do? Run for him! Think of something! There's nothing to think of, your ladyship. Just tell him you're sorry and show him your tits like he told you. You are a blockhead! How can I, an Arendelle princess, show my breast to a man? Well, a princess can't, of course, but a peasant can, with great pleasure. Well, a, a peasant? He don't know you're a big princess and got angry because he expected something else from a peasant. And you girls really do such things? 
But you tell me about it every day on in from your books. Well, yes, I have read that commoners are slutty, but when you face it in real life... Oh, God forbid he understands that you're angry because you're a princess. What a scoundrel he'll make. What a scandal he'll make. Then why are you standing like that, you fool? Run for him! So I am a peasant, just a slut who can do everything she wants. What good heavens! My cheeks are burning! I wish he were alone here, without this idiot watching us. What do you want to tell me, Martha? Dagny understands everything, your lordship. She asks you to forgive her. She'll do e what you want. I'm sorry, your lordship. I'm just a peasant. An ordinary peasant. Hmm, so what? Well, your lordship, can we stay alone? Our Dagny is a shy girl, your lordship. She can't do nothing when I'm here. Okay, go out, Martha. I'll give this shy girl the last chance. So, sweetheart. Oh, the fool is waiting behind the door. I will have to give her a ring to make her keep her mouth shut. Of course, I shouldn't do it like this. But he can see a usual slutty peasant who would be ready to give herself to him when he snaps his fingers. I must at least show him my breasts. Lord Almighty, I do have to see if he likes me as, as a woman. All that gossip about him and the peasant women about him and Elsa, all that is because Hans has never had a chance to see me. Miss? Oh, good heavens, I feel, I feel blood pumping. I am going to faint. My breasts are beautiful for sure, but what if he doesn't like them? Here you go, your lordship. Hmm, the breasts are quite... How dare you! Are you alright? I have allowed you to see me, not to touch me! Anna? And what if I really am, Anna? Heh! <laughs> That's the best fucking face I've ever seen. Cousin? Oh shit. Oh my god, oh my god! Well, your highness, I am Dagny, a peasant! Makes a curtsy before Rapunzel. Huh? Yes, madam. I have been checking the peasant girl before college admission. She does have a slight similarity with her highness. But I think that really is... Oh no, your, lo your ladyship. I am a peasant. An ordinary one. Please, keep checking me, your lordship. Hmm? Good heavens. Won't he be clever enough to squeeze my breast once to convince this slut to make her go away? Your Lordship, we peasants are accustomed to being checked. We even like it. Mm, excuse me, madam. We do need to go on. Hmm? Oh my god, I'm going to die. Lost your underwear, sweetheart? Why did I let that stupid laundry maid persuade me that since the dress requires no bra, wearing the panties wouldn't look nice? This, well, this is because we peasants often have no panties on. A funny tradition, that, isn't it, madam? My god, your lordship. Can't you wait until I leave? Perhaps it's okay with you, peasant, but I am a princess. Well, this is just a commoner. Good god. Letting a man grope the bare crotch in front of another woman. What promiscuity. So it's true that he sleeps with peasant women. Isn't Elsa enough for him? Or is he fond of being pushy? Just like my dear Eugene. Oh, your lordship, I'm not feeling well. Come to my room, miss. We can lie down there. I mean, you can. Oh my god, I'm really... I am really feeling badly. And besides, I must milk my dear little goats in the village. My dear little milky boys and girls. Tear the clothes off her and lay her on the floor. Risky. Damn it. I get her on the hook already, so I'd rather wait. Well, sweetheart... Good heavens! Send Dagny down to the village to milk her little milky boys and girls, especially the boys, and you, miss. Take care of your health. You can't faint if you want to pass the entrance exams. So I failed? Sweetheart, to be up to the requirements, you are, su 
You are supposed at least to give fellatio to men. What? Martha, what do the commoners call it? Well, your lordship, it's called to do a blowjob or to suck. Is it clear now, Dagny? Yes, your lordship. I am burning with shame. And with the other things. This is how it happens to the commoners. Just as it's described in the books, a spade is called a spade in the most straightforward way. And he is not ashamed of expressing his desires. What are all those high society conventions for? If a man really likes a girl, he says so easily, Darling, I want you to suck my dick. Good heavens, I can hardly stand on my feet. You can go. Well, that happened. Not sure how much of that I can show on certain places. So, let's see. Let's, uh, let's wait a little while. Everything is going very well. Let me outline the, ne the nearest plans. Why do you have horns? Why is my head so heavy instead? Or outside? Shit! Are those horns? Damn it! No one should see me like this. Don't come in, I'm busy. Your lordship, it's me, Alice. Lady Randolph? Shit. Alice, this is not the right time. Excuse me, your highness. I just wanted to say that I have come to the college t together with my husband. So if you need me, you can always find me at our place. Okay, Alice, okay. Gone. But why the goddamn horns? The damn succubus should have awarded horns to the nobles, not to me. No worries, Prince Hans. Your accomplices have received what they deserve. And now they are running about the tavern, having no idea what to do. You! What are you doing, you fiend of hell? You want a Dorothy. How can I live with these horns? Didn't we have a contract? Prince Hans, after living among people, I became too gentle. If my sister had taken on this, she would have roasted your ass long ago. But I did learn something from you guys. For example, entering conditions and contracts in small print. What? The lambs don't seem to stimulate you, so I will address the next clause in our contract, which I guess you have not read. It says that I can change the punishment, even apply it pre preemptively as demonstration. So far, I can't do much, but I am able to decorate your head with a pair of horns, so walk around with them. Wait a minute. Maridana! You don't understand that, having these horns, I can't approach your Dorothy. I can't even run the college. You can't approach Dor- You can't approach Dorothy, horns or no horns. As to the college, your laundry woman can run it easily. I will tell you a secret. Dorothy is very special. Of course, but you have already adjusted the process. And the fifty sluts copulating with local noblemen will give me the necessary energy. Even if not very soon. But I don't have to hurry, dear mortal. I have an eternity ahead. So I don't need you. You can now be a dear king if you want. Wait! Moradonna! Wait a minute! And if I get Dorothy to do something for the next show, something sexy enough, I can't promise that what you want will happen right away, but... But... But if seeing what she is doing, you won't say whore... Let me have these horns forever. Sounds brave, but the head decorations seem to clear your brains, Prince Hans. So it would be a pity to remove it. Then what about all those talks about a special girl and the special way of treating her? I still think so. And if you choose another, Prince Hans, it's time for you to stop being a light elf. Either you use in everyone and don't feel regret, or you won't become a king. Okay, I'll rid you of the horns, but you can fuck any but, and you can fuck anyone you want. I won't restrict you anymore, but I can always return the decoration to you. For example, when you squeeze another Beatrice. Hmm? Come on, I'm just kidding. It was always your castle keeper who set up the timing for the performance, right? Let it be so. Don't interfere. Take care of Dorothy. You're very short on time. 
feels his head. What a nasty brat. But I have no time to make plans for revenge. I must spin Dorothy as quickly as possible. And something else, Prince Hans. The Lodge will soon send an inspector here. I think you have a couple of months. But if you fail to impress the inspector with the state of the arts, then even a fucked Dorothy won't save you. So don't forget about the second important matter. Shit. So Dorothy isn't my only problem. I also have to train the peasants. Where's my diary? So Dorothy, the girls, and I need to continue to look for a kingdom for me. If the inspector is impressed with my results, but suggests nothing, I should have in mind what to demand as a reward. Well, it looks like right off the bat we're going to have an exciting time, aren't we? Well, let's save here. No. Crystal Ball's inactive. Maybe some other time. See, watch Ar Martha and Anna through the ball. Become a woman, your ladyship? You did well. What do you mean by a woman, you fool? I didn't turn into anyone. If you say at least half a word to someone, the queen will freeze you. Do you understand? Oh my god, then I'll tell his highness I'm sorry. Maybe he'll defend me. Stop, you fool. Did you hear me? The queen will freeze you. Ah, your ladyship, I'm lost anyway. If it gets out, there'll be no mercy for me. If I do it myself, then there is some hope. Good heavens, what a fool! If she opens her mouth and Elsa knows what I was with him, don't go anywhere, I tell you. Nothing will happen if you if you are silent, and I will even reward you. You will give I will give you a ring. But you yourself, your ladyship, want to keep you sleeping around under wraps. Why then do you threaten me with your sister? What a scoundrel you are! It'll be It'll be be it will be better for both of us if no one knows what happens. Is that clear? It can't be more clear, your ladyship. But you said you'll reward me if I'm silent. So what do you want, you wench? A ring? Is not enough for you? Okay, I'll a couple of Imperials. You'll never see as much money. I'm an honest girl, your ladyship. To take your money for nothing. Oh, really? Better let me sell your panties to them ver to them verets like your previous maid. What? A nice gentleman came around yesterday. Wondered if I could get a pair for him. He did. He don't need simple girls. He only wanted noble underwear. One of them panties from a princess. What are you talking about, you fool? You must go. You must be nuts to propose that to me. I will throw you in jail for insulting royal dignity. I'm an honest girl, your ladyship. Your previous maid sold them in secret, and I ask for your permission. You won't have my permission, do you understand? Sell yours, you dirty pervert. You are not my maid anymore. I will tell Elsa about you immediately. I hope so much. We'll have something good that the nice gentleman, and you'll just break all my future threatening me with your sister? If I'm not your maid, there's no need to defend you. If the queen asks me what and how, I'll have to tell her the truth about ye fucking her guy. What a snake you are! Bye, your ladyship. I'll first tell you his lordship what kind of woman his ex is. Aw, oh, you wait! Wait, you fool! Why do you take offense? Your lady simple, simply, well, simply lost her temper for a second. Yes, I understand that you're angry, your ladyship, but I can't approach a gentleman without your stuff, so take them panties off and I'll run to, hi to him. Such a handsome man. What are you talking about, you fool? Do you mean that I'll be walking around without my underwear? I once listened to you and was sorry I hadn't put it on. I'll never forget that. Why not, your ladyship? Them girls run around with no panties on, and so what? One won't see nothing under your skirt, and you'll put on another pair once you come home. Fool, I am a princess, not a girl. That's what I mean. He only wants noble panties. You're such a joker. But don't ye doubt, I'll keep secret that ye kinda sinned with the prince, cause my future depends on it. 
but don't forget to bring me your underwear, just as before, and I'll do the rest. I'll pass it over to them gentlemen in the best way. What a scoundrel! She even has plans for the future. She wants me, a princess of Arendal, to sell my dirty underwear. That's incredible. Or maybe, maybe Elsa will catch the scoundrel in the act. Then she won't even listen to her, and everything will end at last. If we agree about them verrets, take ye your panties off quickly, your ladyship, before the gentleman goes away. What do you? What do we do if he does? Oh my goodness! Takes her panties off. I will do my best to help Elsa catch you, you dirty wench. Then we'll know. Then you'll know the price for playing with a princess. Thanks a lot, your ladyship. With that, we can actually look at the ball again. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, no, we can't. Hmm. Well, do we have anything at the shop? Day is over. With that, guys, late evening. Oh, we're not done. By the way, Rinz Hans, in order to well satisfy the inspector, your peasants should be able to have fun with n fun not only with bananas. Let them get to know men better. Look, Muridana, can we do without it? Hmm. You don't like something? You don't remember why you're here? I see. You see, I... Shit. I don't want those brutes to knock them up. Good hell, Prince Hans. When did you become a daddy? Or maybe you want to save the girls for yourself? It's up to you, but you should teach them to deal with real penises. Is that clear? Shit. It was so simple at the beginning, when I didn't care a damn. But now, Prince Hans, Western God, puts under the goddamned bastards some of his students, in whom he was invested so much time, energy, and hmm, soul. Perhaps I'm not the best ruler, but shit, I'm not a pimp. But what about the inspection? There will be consequences. Maybe I should sleep with each of them? Even if I decide to commit a sex feat, they will no longer see me as a boss. There'll be more discipline. The girls are talkative. Elsa will get to know that I played the role of a breeding stallion and will go nuts for sure. And what will the inspector say when he sees that I've taken on that burden? Maybe good ideas will appear after reading the literature. Well, guys, next time, we'll see just what's going on. Thank you and for enjoying the return for Bad Manners. And if you want to request a game, go ahead. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.